Christmas movies usually bring that holiday cheer that makes us feel warm and comforted starting at the tail end of November all the way up to December 25th. Sitting on a couch drinking some nice hot cocoa next to your lit up Christmas tree is a moment that many of us look forward to every single year. Now, let's talk Christmas films that are etched in holiday cinema history. Sure, you've got your Home Alones, your How the Grinch Stole Christmas Is, Die Hard, and even that loony Turbo Time Toy Chaser jingle all the way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sure, they're all Christmas staples, but what about mixing it up and popping in a psychological Christmas film of Yuletide terror? We're not talking about Bob Clark's OG slasher film Black Christmas, or that Christmas creature feature show Krampus, or Gremlins. Let's unearth a truly surprising, shocking film that crept under everyone's radar in 2016. We're discussing the home invasion thriller that strays from that simple horror formula that we're all used to seeing and it flips it on its head. It also captures that Christmas aesthetic feel even when it's caked in its macabre, high-intensity mind games of pure doom and gloom. Today, we're discussing Better Watch Out, and it just may be one of the best horror movies you never saw. Better Watch Out remained in the shadows throughout its marketing, and to my dismay, the film did not have any trailers, one-sheets, or TV spots prior to its launch. Director Chris Peckover doesn't have a career of big hits to his portfolio either. He's an unknown in the industry when it comes to well-known directors in the horror chair. So like him, the movie didn't have the massive marketing budget to help it see its box office potential. I'm relieved to say that Peckover not only delivered a great Christmas horror flick, but also directed an outstanding film that is on its way to attaining cult status. Better Watch Out is a great crowd pleaser during the holiday season for us horror fans. Now, before we do our deep dive on Better Watch Out, I don't want to give you the proverbial coal in your Christmas stocking by ruining the behemoth WTF moment in this movie. Reason being, it takes away from the overall mystery of what happens from point A to point B, and that would be the worst Christmas gift to give all of our Joe Blow viewers out there. King me. Son of a bitch! So, if you haven't seen this movie, the weight of these upcoming spoilers may lose the impact of your overall viewing experience. So, take my word for it, okay? Don't be like Ralphie from Christmas Story, or you'll shoot your eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Ho, ho, ho. Better Watch Out kicks off by giving us a sense of community within its tight-knit town during a chilly December night. Our main lead, Ashley, is on her way to the Lerner residence to watch a 12-year-old Luke while his parents go out for the night. When Ashley pulls up, we're displayed with a house that Clark Griswold could cream his pants over. Everybody come out quick, look at the lights! <laughs> Luke Lerner is just a typical teenage boy with raging hormones who tries to impress Ashley before she heads off to Pittsburgh. Luke's friend Garrett knocks Luke's chances down even more, but to be honest, he had the deck stacked against him from the beginning. You know, considering that she's a handful of years older than him and is already in a relationship. But this doesn't stop our friend Luke from getting his licks in through some unwanted advances. Uh, you know what, can we just have Santa bring this kid a blow-up doll? That would be great. Throughout the night is a series of awkward exchanges between Ashley and Luke that become interrupted by strange encounters happening in the house. You know, outside doors are mysteriously open, phones are randomly going off, doorbells are ringing, a giant spider is scurrying across the kitchen, Garrett diving in to scare everyone, and the list goes on. But when Ashley confronts Garrett about the prior pranks, Garrett denies any wrongdoing and says it wasn't him. But what if the enemy lurking outside is actually the enemy within? And this is just a prelude to the true horrors that are about to be exposed. This is the greatest strength of this movie, because right when you least expect it, it smacks you hard in the face, unveiling its true malicious nature. Ashley! Ashley! What? Surprise, motherfucker! 
for once, when a movie that I thought would fall directly into its familiar exposition, it actually made me do a double take, as I was too thrown for a loop, because the signs just weren't there. Luke is actually the bad guy. It's a great twist in the horror genre. Tough love during Christmas is the ultimate price for Ashley, and Luke is front and center giving it out. Hell hath no fury like a horny boy scorned. I believe that's the saying, right? He sure would give Henry from The Good Son a run for his money. The film was originally intended to shoot in South Carolina, but was later changed due to the budgeting and flexibility. The production instead moved to Australia due to Chris Peckover's mother being an Australian native. Also, most of the team cast is Australian, which made this even better. For a movie that was filmed in Australia, centered on Christmas in a suburban neighborhood, it hit the mark in strides at replicating the environments that we're used to seeing in the US. You really gotta love Hollywood movie magic. I hate how fake Hollywood is. Now, if you're gonna create a satisfying movie with three completely unknown actors, then you need to make damn sure that your story is interesting. And in that, this movie delivers. Better Watch Out is a genre-defying movie in the sense that it deals with mature subject matter, teen adolescence, and sadism, all told through the lens of young teenagers. Both Olivia de Jong and Levi Miller have great charisma when it comes to sharing their scenes together, displaying the yin and yang of good and evil. While de Jong is great at playing her girl next door type and showing that sense of purity and innocence, it's Miller who develops plenty of rage for his character, which is typically rare for a 12 year old to possess. There is something truly horrifying knowing that the boy you've been babysat during a good chunk of your teenage life becomes an absolute diabolical sociopath who is looking to get in your pants. A person that you've come to trust, instilling good morals and values, flips that switch and creates the ultimate psychotic plan to win you over, or steal you over. A word of advice, Ashley, just don't go breaking his heart, because I'm sure he's capable of breaking a few things physically and mentally when it comes to it. I will always say that if a villain doesn't make you absolutely hate them with the actions that they portray on screen, then he or she isn't doing the job to the fullest. However, with Luke, the kid deserves an unmerciful ass-kicking once this movie is done because he just knows how to get people's blood boiling. God, he's such a prick. But Levi Miller did his homework and created a memorable role that deserves his place as a great horror movie heel. He can go from sweet and innocent to rage-fueled, pouty, full-blown tantrums in a matter of seconds. Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you! And it's not even cringeworthy, it's spectacularly believable. It really is a sight to see and a massive pro to the film for only Levi Miller to keep well within his grasp. Better Watch Out lends a great supporting cast as well. Ed Oxenbold, who plays Luke's sidekick Garrett, is also a solid choice as he shows the teenage rebellious wise-ass phase even when things go a little too far. Then there's Luke's mother and father, played by Patrick Warburton and Virginia Madsen who have a great comedic dynamic together, and especially Warburn, who displays that corny, trying too hard father who may have a little bit of a thing for Ashley, or maybe that's just my opinion. But either way, it gives off some major creep vibes that only Warburn could display. Throw in one of Ashley's boyfriends, Jeremy, played by Stranger Things powerhouse Dacre Montgomery, and you have an absurdly well-rounded cast. <laughs> Christmas horror films usually focus on the embodiment of Christmas. You know, carolers, families making snowmen outside, Christmas music to set the mood, enjoying the decorated houses on the block. It's all there in Better Watch Out. Just like Black Christmas in the 70s, they both 100% feel like Christmas movies and display a certain authenticity to them. They both have that atmosphere that displays Christmas time. Call it the world's greatest oxymoron in cinema when it it comes to Christmas horror, but it adds a great element that screws with the perception of the viewer and tells us that death comes knocking around the corner even in the merriest and most feel-good time of the year. 
Sure, this time of year, I'll watch Christmas Vacation like the rest of you, but that doesn't mean that I won't also throw in a little Silent Night, Deadly Night for good measure. Better Watch Out was released digitally on October 6, 2017, and largely went unnoticed, with a box office haul of just $188,000. Pretty jaw-dropping considering how good and captivating this movie really is. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has a critical reception of 89%, which is a good sign that this Christmas tale of terror is the real deal if you're willing to give it a go. It truly has some great moments that will stick with you to ponder and pick apart when the last scene rolls. Trust me. Overall, Better Watch Out is a great movie, especially a great Christmas flick to watch every holiday season. When a movie is advertised one way but goes off the rails in another, you've done an incredible job of keeping me invested. It plays like Funny Games meets Black Christmas, but with kids. It provides a great psychological premise because it spends time on the themes of growing up and dealing with rejection and your first love, albeit a very sinister and twisted flip on those components. And while it may not hold a candle to other movies like Krumpus, Gremlins, and the OG Black Christmas, it still deserves a place in my top 10 Christmas horror films due to the depth and overall twist. It has excellent cinematography, strong acting by its leads, a good atmosphere and set decoration, as well as some unique kills involving a paint can, a lawnmower, and a shotgun. If you're a babysitter, do not watch this movie or you might get some anxiety during your next outing. Happy holidays to all, and to all, a good fright.